Mona Lisa, what a new theory about her enigmatic smile supports. Neuroscientists have analyzed the Mona Lisa smile. Yes, neuroscientists. And they were coming up with a new theory about the face of the most famous painting of all time. A new study has found that the Mona Lisa's famous smile is almost forced, suggesting that Leonardo da Vinci deliberately painted it this way. In other words, she doesn't mean it. A team of three neuroscientists want to investigate the truth about Mona Lisa's expression and applied principles of neuroscience to the world's most famous painting. They first investigated the mechanism of expression. The researchers used a chimeric face technique by cutting the face in half and placing each half next to a mirror. The two chimeric images were judged by a panel of 42 subjects and scored according to their expression. Subjects agreed that the left image with its mirage shows happiness, while the right half of the image with its reflection was less expressive, characterizing it as a neutral or even sad emotion. And this led researchers to include that Mona Lisa smiles asymmetrically. Dr. Lucia Riccardi explained, According to the most certified neuropsychological theories of a smile, it is asymmetrical when it is usually inauthentic. Whereas what is an authentically spontaneous smile is bilateral and symmetrical. It is also characterized by activating the upper part of the face, and this also does not appear to be the case in Mona Lisa's portrait. Now, more recently, a researcher, a research by Paul Ekman in this field has shown that asymmetrical smiles can be a sign of insincerity or even lying. What could it mean if her smile is forced? Of course, we know that posing for many hours for painting will result in a forced expression, but we also know that da Vinci was an expert in sfumato, the shading technique used to depict expressions. She deliberately raised her left lip as if to draw a smile. And then, uh, and he had to, uh, this, uh, uh, she would know that curving the lip on both sides and adding folds around the eyes would show an authentic smile. And he had this knowledge centuries before Dukin's work in the 1800s. So we assume that this asymmetry has a deliberate action. And what we still don't know is why he painted her that way, concludes Dr. Ricciardi. So that's weird, isn't it? Yes, he did it for some reason. Um, so that's what the neuroscientists are suggesting considering Mona Lisa's smile. She didn't mean it. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.